There is a kind of pain that I see in Martin Baum and his desperation to not only be able to communicate with his son, but try and etch out what he perceives to be a normal life with his son. Uh, and yet when he starts to give that up and realize that he has to live in his son's world, uh, that things start to get better. And, and so there's always this kind of mixture of the frustration that I kind of would empathize with his father for, uh, but then another kind of undercurrent of hope. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I related very strongly to that dynamic. It, it was a way of understanding that this marriage was broken up uh, by terrible misfortune. Uh, it was also around the time when Jake, my son, uh, he would have been one years old. Uh, so, so for a variety of reasons, it's a great question. Um, to me, 9-11 evokes an unbelievably strong emotional response uh, and and it certainly does for my character in the context of the show whenever he goes to visit his wife's grave uh, or when he thinks of the things that he took for granted with his wife because he thought she would always be there um, and 9-11 is something that I believe that not only all the people in this country but really around the world relate to it was a very significant day actually one of the things that I've always admired about this country is that people actually do talk uh, and I was always amazed uh, when you take a look at what happened in New York City for that next year uh, it changed uh, people really went out of their way to help each other and take care of each other and uh, all of Manhattan felt like just the most amazing neighborhood uh, I, I actually I, I don't wholly agree I, I think people really did come together through that time and I uh, I think any time uh, whether it's a memorial or whether it's a film, uh, you will find people c coming together uh, through their own personal experiences of that terrible day. Well, it's, it's, it's in all fairness, I was a producer of 24, it's really no different. Uh, we have a large turnover of actors uh, that come onto our show and uh, if they have questions uh, about the script, I can steer them in the right direction. Uh, I've worked with our crew for many, many years. Uh, there is a way that we work. I can help explain that. Um, and those are really kind of my, my self-appointed responsibilities, is just trying to help people that come onto the show. Uh, and then obviously Tim and Carol and myself, uh, they run their storylines by me. I can have an opinion. It doesn't necessarily matter. I think one of the keys to having a successful show, and certainly my experience with 24 and, and what I think is working very well with us in touch, is that people have respect for what they do. The actors act, the directors direct, the writers write. Uh, it doesn't mean that we don't talk about it. We do. Uh, but I have great respect for our writers. And in the end, when it's about their script, they have the last say in that. And, and I have the last say in how I want to perform it. No, that, that's the exciting part, is to be able to play different characters. I think the challenging thing for me was that I had forgot how hard the first year of 24 was. It's a very intimate... Uh, thing to be invited into someone's living room uh, and I have schedules things that I want to watch and and to try and get me to watch something different is not very easy and so the first year of any show is always going to be challenging and this one certainly has been no different uh, and so that's the real challenge the exciting part is actually being able to play a different character and, and try something new and, and it's like getting a brand new sheet of paper and a whole new box of crayons you know